The Department of Environment is issuing an alert to scuba divers and snorkelers. They want you to be on the lookout for the red lionfish. Although it's beautiful, it's dangerous. The barbs on its back are in fact quite dangerous and they do give you a very nasty sting. It's not known to be lethal or deadly, but it does cause an immediate intense pain and that pain does last for several hours afterwards. And the easy way to, to explain it to people who haven't seen it, it'll have uh, the fins on its pectoral fins on the side and the and on the top, its dorsal fins are mainly spikes. They have a feathery like look to them when they extend them out and extend them to six or seven inches either side of their body. And it's those spikes and the spikes on top of its head that are poisonous. The red lionfish is even more harmful to the marine life in the Caribbean Sea. The lionfish, um, as it's a new introduction to the ecosystem, it does not have many um, natural predators. So in fact it's being introduced to the ecosystem and it's at the top of the food chain. The problem with that is that they're very voracious predators. They will eat juvenile uh, reef fish, ornamental fish, they'll also eat uh, juvenile reef species, um, nass, uh, snappers, groupers, basically any fish or lobster or shrimp, anything that's on the reef they do tend to eat. Um, and they will stay in one reef area and eat until the food supply is diminished and then they'll move on to another area. So how did this ferocious fish make its way to our region? Well, it's not an, an Atlantic species of fish at all. Its, it's native range is in the Indian and the Pacific Oceans. We believe the main introduction of this fish into the Atlantic was in 1992 during Hurricane Andrew. They had five fish in captivity in an aquarium in Key Biscayne and during Andrew the aquarium was washed out into the canals. Right after Andrew there were quite a few reports that the lionfish had been seen swimming in the canals. We believe that was the main introduction of the species into the Atlantic. Since then its, its distribution and progression has been tracked by the USGS and has, since 1982 even though it started off very slowly moving northward it's, it's gone right up now to, up to Massachusetts. They've been out to the Bahamas, Bermuda, and they're now starting since about 2003. They've started to spread into the Caribbean as well. Someone first spotted the red lionfish in Little Cayman back in February 2008. But it didn't resurface until October, this time in Cayman Brac. Then in December, five fish invaded the waters in Grand Cayman. We found the one here, or some of our divers reported the one, and the DOV have taken it out. Um, I believe from the DOV there's been six sightings. They can reproduce fairly quickly within a year and a half and they have very fast growth rates as well. So basically they eat and they, they grow very fast which is, allows them to, to increase the size of their prey so they have more of an impact on the larger fish around the reef as well. They can grow up to 15 inches long so it's quite a large fish. Probably due to the larval recruitment um, lionfish in other islands around the Caribbean um, reproducing and their larvae is taken by the currents. So it could be something to do with uh, the way the currents are around coming around Grand Cayman and, and the Cayman Islands now. To prevent a devastating blow to the water sports industry as well as the fishermen on the island, the Department of Environment is going after the predator. We'll be collecting gill filaments, basically one water the gill from each fish and we'll be sending those samples off to be analyzed for DNA for genetic analysis. That's going to be sent to the center that's um, doing all of the other analysis for the islands in the Caribbean. The purpose is to see where is to identify the, the distinct genetic populations and to see whether or not these populations are all linked or whether in fact they're separate populations of fish that are popping up in different islands. If you want to help the DOE, look, but don't touch. If you see a dead lionfish for whatever reason washed up or on the beach or whatever else there, definitely don't try and touch it. The lionfish is still able to sting you uh, for a short period after it's dead, so um, best just to call us and, and let us come down and, and take the lionfish that way. So if for whatever reason you, you catch one while lion fishing, you should also not attempt to take it off of the hook. As I just cut the line, but whatever you do, please do not put it back in the water. If you have a container or a bucket or something that you can keep the lionfish in, please put it in the bucket and call us and we'll come and collect it from you. These fish won't go into an aquarium. The Department of Environment plans on only keeping two of them alive at one time. The rest will be put to sleep in order to send the samples off to the states.